for my science movie, I will be discussing information about the inside of Earth. First, I'll talk about seismic waves. Seismic waves are disturbances of material inside the Earth that move through Earth and are made because of man-made explosions and earthquakes. There are two types of seismic waves, P waves and S waves. P waves are faster and go forwards and backwards, while S waves are slower, cannot go through liquids, and move into side-to-side -side motion. The fact that S waves cannot go through liquids proves that there is liquid in the outer core instead of solid. That liquid's movement creates the magnetic field that surrounds our Earth. The magnetic field that surrounds our Earth protects us from solar radiation. Jules Verne, the writer of Journey to the Center of the Earth, thought that magnetism acted oddly at the center of the Earth. He also thought that there was an ocean there, because in his book, he mentions that the people there, heading to the core, apparently find an ocean there, which is impossible, because temperatures down at the core are hotter than the sun, and water evaporates at only 100 degrees Celsius, while the core is 72 times hotter than that. On the topic of it being hotter than the sun down at the inner core, here is a chart of all of the temperatures that take place in Hertz layers. The first layer of the crust has normal temperature of the Earth, zero, undefined. The upper mantle goes to 870 degrees Celsius, already enough to evaporate water. Then the azenosphere is the same, because it's just below. The lower mantle, the biggest layer, goes to up to 3,700 degrees Celsius. The outer core goes to 4,300. And the inner core, as I mentioned earlier, goes to 7,200 degrees Celsius, which is, in fact, hotter than the sun. Because the core is so hot, a plume of the mantle material expands and rises because it is heated by the core and moves along underneath the crust, moving tectonic plates, cooling down and going down back toward the core just to restart the cycle called convection. Here are the resources that I used in order to get the information needed for this movie.